understand that. Because even like me, they feel like they're not talk about certain things. Me not feel know about politics. Me don't like fooling. You know. All me know to do is get joking. You know. Welcome back, viewers and subscribers. Wagwan, bless up on yourself for you know the style, though. I will land with the latest, so please consider in subscribing if for your first time over. Yes, standard because even like me, they feel like they're not to talk about certain things. Me not to know about politics, but don't like fooling. You know. All me know to do is get joking. You, know. you understand? So they feel like you have nothing outside of what you're do, what you're doing, or your occupation. But, mm -hmm. but, but if they follow if they follow the career of, of, of Lisa, then they know that you are a, a down to earth person. You are a person who represented Jamaica for years, still doing so, still doing so, right? And you want better for the country. And for that simple thing alone, you're gonna be involved in the culture and, and, and of the you know, the dance hall, music, the, the, the comedians, you will be involved. You That's not the best for evil rifle. <laughs> Everybody know I'm mixing. Um, what has been 
Number four, what has been your most fun thing to do? Like when you want to relax, what do you do? Um, really and truly, mm. there's, there's no relaxing time for me. There's no relax for me. I mean, I'm always occupying my time with something to utilize that I could further my career or better myself with. So I, I really don't have a, 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 a wind down time. But my, my, the most fun that I ever had is on stage. I'm, I'm and finally, a, I'm where, where in the world that you haven't been that you really want to go to? Um, I, I, want, I always wanted to go to um, Australia or Singapore, one of them places. Right. What's your favorite? I mean, Somebody's asking. Go ahead. Where is that? We're in Australia. I've been, so, Australia. I mean, I've been, yeah, I've been so many places before. Like, it, you know, one of, one of the most place, one of the places that I really want to go is uh -huh. is, is um is, I want to I want to just take a tour of Africa. I've been, to, I've, been to Africa Africa. Nice. I've been to Nigeria before. Lagos or Abuja? La Lagos. You get but stuck in the traffic, brother. Uh, what? <laughs> the traffic there? Hmm. It's not normal. May I tell you? I've never seen a traffic like that in my life. But, but um, um, I, I want to I want to do like a tour of Africa. I want to go to the places, you know what I mean? Egypt and Ghana and Senegal and all of those places. I want to go all of them places. Right, so when, so when you're going, mm -hmm. give me some notice and the whole way we're going. Um, exactly. Got, hey, somebody said add spice. Wait for spice. Spice, spice I heard you but she's traveling tomorrow and she said, I hear one do. I hear you want to, but she's she getting take, her hair done. But then she's not taking she, off her hair and putting her in the bathroom and... Leave, leave Grace alone. <laughs> you try and leave her alone, my friend. Big up Spice. Spice, uh, Spice, uh, Spice, uh, Spice, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dog of that, you know. I'm a real dog of that. Mine thing. too. I'm a real dog of that. I, when I come up there, the two of them will come by the house and eat lobster. Yes, but. They cook lobster for her. Yes, but I'm going to... I'm gonna not take up any more of your time, my darling. Hopefully, I can get to Hotland as soon. Yeah, yeah. And um, we can catch up. Uh, are they allowing traveling right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. But the quarantine thing, I can't do the quarantine thing when it, because when you come back, you have to stay in the house for two weeks. And no, my dear. Which part? In a, when, you, when, when, you, you, when you travel out and come back, unless you've done a COVID test, they make you quarantine for, for and still they make you quarantine basically for two weeks. Okay. So if you do a test, you can come out. So okay. I can run up, but right now we have things we have to deal with. So that's the issue. <laughs> yeah, so it don't yeah, so when you come easy. down, when you come down, I cook up still again. You know, are there sick people? Let me tell you, if you don't know, if you don't know, all right. Pretty look, you hear, you hear, you hear, you hear, you hear, you sing a song. F2 and sing a song and the song says, Pretty looks easy. Uh, you better know how to cook too. You understand? And let me tell you something. When we go to Lisa house, the way she cook this oxtail, yeah? Remember me tell you? Me, trust me. When we reach over here, yeah, people eat oxtail and two, two, you know, we don't want to look too crazy and thing. We want a second plate, you know, but we don't want to have seat, you know? You see me, I say? I mean, I, 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 I got the bathroom. When we reach the bathroom now, we just trip to the bin the park to see if it's still up to the hill. Boy, I tell you, you're bad. You're bad, Lisa. Read you. You're tell bad. everybody hi for me. Give my love to the missus. All right, definitely. And everybody <laughs> in the house. Lots of love, brother. Definitely. I, I, Everything well, is Well, I know before you go, eh? I want to tell you something now. I, I would I would like to see one day, one day, I need to see you running for, 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 for Prime Minister. You know? Well, if I if I win the presidency, um, that's what will happen. So, you know, I'm running for president of the Yeah, man, we need, we need it. We need it. Let me tell you, we need it. Pick up yourself, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, uh, that's a love, brother. Cool. All right, make sure, make sure. Make... Lord have mercy. I didn't realize that he, he, he actually did. All right, let me, let me, um, there's some more invitations here to come in live. Um, let me actually answer some of the questions that are here. There are lots of questions here, so let me get through. Um, uh, da 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 uh, what is the election? The election. What's your skincare regime? Your flawless. Which Hazel? 
and um, sunblock, lots of water, and I use a, a papaya enzyme face wash morning and night, uh, but witch hazel, witch hazel. So I'm 45, 45, and that helps. And I think what you have to do is, I, I did this a couple of weeks ago. You have uh, a bot invested in one of these things that you can massage your face with, and that, that's, that, that works great. So if there are no more questions, I want to, I think there's some more questions. There are lots of questions coming in here. Alex, you see the questions? Who, who should you take Alex with? Who what? So, oh, you should take Alex with you tomorrow to Old Harbor. Okay. Alex, you're coming to Old Harbor with me? I can tell Creative you. industries are operating a part, not as a collaborative whole. What's your, your plan to fix it? When I was Minister of Culture, that was one of the challenges we actually had too. And I think one of the things that we have to do first is for the players in the creative industry to actually trust each other. And the, cre the creative industry is not only musicians, it's the artisans, it's the dressmakers, it's the makeup artists, it's the lighting technicians. And what Jamaica really ought to do um, is to, we're globally competitive in the culture and creative industries, but we have not pumped the kind of stimulus into it the same way we do tourism or even the BPOs and to give the kinds of, of stimulus to the artisans to make their, their lives work. And I think if we do that and we say to the rest of the world, we are the cultural capital of the world, come to Jamaica and even transform our tourism industry, to have it as a, as a real cultural mecca of the world, people will be able to do well. So rather than even have our artists travel overseas, you could have the concerts, the live bands. One of the things that I think about all the time is why we don't have more live bands at events and at locations in Jamaica. Just a simple thing. We have so many demi-art bands, and um, the only time they play is at funeral requests. I'm going to take this video from <coughs> who is this? Uh, let's see who this is. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Let's see. There are a couple of video requests coming in. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Let me go to some other questions. So those are some of the things, and and to really, what Jamaica has to do, in the same way that I speak about value and added agriculture, let's choose three industries that we're going to pivot with, and I think value added agriculture, the cultural and creative industries, and certainly marijuana tourism and health tourism because of our proximity to South America and the United States and to have the kind of long stay situations where that is that 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 happens um, and go all in so that would be one of my fixes if I'm going to become part of your daughter let me know we're not dealing with politics why, why, why would I deal with politics well if I'm going to become part of leader, what are some of your plans going forward the main one is to bring the party together and to have to reconnect with people in Jamaica and on the streets and to get make up yourself Andre, Dr. Andre Horton, sending lots of love from, from the UK. Um, so those are some of the things. And if you look on the live, there is a Dr. Andre Horton, one of our premier economists. He ran in a seat for us out in St. James, West Central St. James, and he is Phenomenal in terms of all some of the things that we have to do to grow our economy. Smart guy. And he's a really smart guy. Um, King of the Music. Hi, guys. So let me read some more questions. Um, how do you sustain your mental fortitude? That's a great question. How do, I, how, do, how do I sustain my mental fortitude? I really don't know. just uh, oh. with a 
lot of courage, a lot of um, experience, and knowing what keeps you grounded. You have a strong moral compass. That's what keeps you grounded. So you, you're not moving either way in different directions. And when you have strong roots, so I would suggest to everybody, your mind has to get strong. If you are somebody who can't stay grounded and focused, then it's going to sway you. Yeah, experience. There you go, Miss Celebrity. Hey, Annie, what are, what's going on? Um, let's go into the